Hello and welcome to another video tutorial. My name is Britta Swiderski and today I'm over on the Little Tangles Challenge blog by Neat and Tangled doing some fun mini cards. Their challenge for this week is some mini cards so I wanted to do a little set using some Neat and Tangled stamps. First I wanted to address that this is my first video I've made in a while uh, so I'm a little rusty. Um, I do want to make more videos um, but we'll kind of see how it plays out. Every day is a new story, and I'm actually vlogging every day in April over on my other channel. I'll put a link here if you want to see that, um, where I'm talking about what's going on in my life right now. Nothing crazy, but, you know, just things. So, thanks so much for watching, and let's get started with the cards for today. So, I'm going to use one of my favorite techniques, which is stamping on top of blended distress ink. So although each card is only going to be one color, technically, um, or at least the background will only be one color, technically, um, you get a lot of looks with just one ink. So I'm going to start out by doing Peacock Feathers because it's my favorite color, and this I'll follow the same process for all of the card fronts. But first I want to talk about how I cut these cards down. So I'm going to be making sort of four bar cards today um, and I did that just by cutting an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper along um, you know hamburger style three times so that the card is three and a half inches wide you get three cards out of a sheet of paper with a little strip left over and then in order to get the set of four I went into a second sheet of paper here and then used the rest of it to make three and a quarter by four inch card fronts um, that will fit perfectly with a one eighth inch border. So you can look at this diagram to see what I did. So two sheets of cardstock for four cards isn't too bad. <laughs> so we're going to be making, using these card fronts for all of our blending since I find that it's easier to work with kind of a card front than it is with an entire card. So you don't have to mask off the back or worry about the paper curling or anything like that. So I'm just working from off and swirling on to the paper. And this helps create a nice and even appearance here. Focusing on getting the edges darker and leaving the inside a little bit lighter. So you get a lot of depth. So there's some nice coverage. You get some nice um, different layers of color there. And then we're going to stamp this stamp from the Neat and Tangled N101 set. It's called On the Strip, and I'm using this big, just solid bar. The cool thing about Distress Ink is that it doesn't really stamp perfectly. It stamps kind of distressed. So um, you can really get a lot of different looks with this. And you can even have it interact with water, which is really cool. So I'm just going to go ahead and make a striped pattern using this same ink across the card front. I'm actually just using the edge of my clear block as kind of a guide on how far to stamp these apart, and that's helping a lot. But you can just totally eyeball it or make it look random. Alright, so there is our finished card front, and then on top of it we'll be putting our little sentiment circle. So I'm going to do all the other card fronts in each of the different colors, and then we can move on to the next step. Alright, so I've done my backgrounds all the same way, and now I'm going to spray a little bit of water on them, just to really bring out that Distress Ink fun. So I actually spray my fingers, I'll do this off camera so I'm not spraying directly onto the project, and then flick onto the project because it creates really beautiful water droplets. So spray onto my fingers, and then flick. And then I just do this until everything reacts and I like the way it looks. Some colors might need more spraying than others. Alright, so now I'm going to let everything dry while I work on the rest of my card. So now I will be using the Everyday Circles set from Neat and Tangled, of course. And I'll be stamping the Happy, Thanks, Love, and Hello on this piece of scrap cardstock. And then I'm just going to punch them out with a 1 and 3 quarters inch punch. The sizing might be a little bit 
wonky, so I might end up using dyes, but that's the plan right now. <laughs> I'm using this navy mid-tone ink from Hero Arts. It's really, really fantastic navy, and we'll go with all the colors we just used on our backgrounds. So I ended up using this one and a half inch punch because it was just perfect with the border. I love it. Now they're nice and happy. I'm so excited. So now we just have to put our cards together because the coolest thing about making mini cards is that they usually are fast. Yay. So we're going to grab a card base, use some foam adhesive to stick this guy on. Probably you only need like five since it's a pretty small card. So you don't really have to worry very much about that. And now all we need to do is affix it to our card base, which is already pre-sized, to go perfectly with our card front. Just grab your little sentiment, and I just kind of cut these squares in half, either diagonally or horizontally. It doesn't really matter. And then kind of center it up a little bit more towards the top because your eye actually adds weight to the bottom, so it's always good to center things a little bit up. And then I'm going to add two pearls, or maybe just one. Maybe just one on either side of the sentiment. I think I'll also add some mini pearls on either side of those big pearls. And now we have a cute mini card with just the right amount of embellishment and a lot of depth without adding too many actual layers to the card. So I'm just going to do the same thing to all the rest of the cards and then I'll be back to show you everything all together. Okay, so this is the finished card set. I'm so happy with how it turned out. And it's so adorable and so cute. I can hold all four cards just in my hand like this because they're so tiny. And I got to use one of my favorite things, which is Distress Ink. So I use Peacock Feathers, Shabby Shutters, Salty Ocean, and Shaded Lilac. And you, if you haven't tried Distress Inks, I highly encourage it. And these two stamp sets were fantastic to use for small cards. Everyday Circles and On the Strip 2. They are just fantastic. So thank you so much for the Little Tangles blog for having me on. I'm so happy and honored to be their featured guest this week. And thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. You can be notified every time I post a new video absolutely for free just by subscribing. Um, so again, thanks so much for watching. I'm so glad to be making videos and share creativity and happiness with you. Have a great day and I will see you next time. <music>